Hello, 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 and welcome back. I'm glad to see you again. <laughs> Today we're going to be building a red cabin house. It's going to be in the redwood forest. It's going to be a good time. Hello, please subscribe. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I think I just knocked, yeah, I knocked out the carpet. Let me, uh, let me put that back right. Oh, oh, okay, I made that worse. <laughs> All right, let's just fix this real quick. Okay, and that goes there, and then we're good to go. Yeah, okay, hello again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Oh, right there is some mushroom soup. If you stick around to the end of the video, we're gonna go mushroom foraging. We're gonna collect all the mushrooms in the redwood forest and make ourselves some dinner. So yeah, let's get going. So here we are in the redwood forest. It's a really nice biome. I thought it was really pretty. I'm enjoying these biomes that have some really tall trees because I'm so used to the shrubs that Minecraft has. <laughs> and uh, right here I'm going to make a sort of two room cabin with some stairs. So I have it sectioned out. I got the design ready and I'm working on it. The reason it's white with red right now which looks kind of odd is because I was messing around with textures and I wanted to use the redwood from the forest and it took me a while to kind of get an idea of what I wanted so I was messing around with the appearance of it so the colors are kind of mishmash now but it improved <laughs> thankfully <laughs> but oh yeah so here's the garden that you will see at the end as well, or that you saw in the beginning. Gonna go grab some wheat, gonna go grab some carrots, just gonna grab some food, that way I have stuff to make for later tonight. And then I gotta replant everything, don't wanna not have less than what I started out with. <laughs> but yeah, I thought this is a nice life, living that little green witch life. So here we are, back to the build. I was curious to know, what do y'all do when you're having a difficult time finding like blocks and colors and textures you want to use in one build? How do you decide what you want to do? Because I, it was something I was struggling with here that I didn't want to. But yeah, leave a comment and tell me how you solve your uh, building blocks. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this biome. It looks pretty uh, interesting. There's also fallen trees, which is a neat uh, aspect where the trees have fallen down and they're just laying everywhere. It's really odd, it's intriguing. So here I am, I finally decided to use uh, gray wood, probably the acacia. I know I like that stuff too much. <laughs> but it goes well nice with the red, which is what I wanted. So we got red on gray. And then I believe the base is cobblestone. So it came out looking pretty good. Pondering. But yeah, it was really fun doing this. I had a good time. This is my lower garden because you can't ever not have enough plants when you're out in the middle of nowhere in a forest doing witchy things. <laughs> Having a good time, giving back to the environment. It's just a nice little day in the life of a Minecrafter. If you're enjoying this build, then you'll enjoy my other ones as well. I have a cafe, a sauna, a sunflower cottage. Go and check them out. So here is what we've gotten so far. Everything's coming together. Got everything, fixing it, making sure it looks fine. I want to say thank you again for leaving your comments. They're all really nice and lovely. They make me so happy and it helps me stay inspired to build. Oh, it's coming together. <laughs> it's looking real good now. I love the scenery. It just looks fantastic. It's up on a little hill. Now we have a little chimney surrounded by these huge trees, got a fireplace going. It looks like it would be fall, wouldn't it? I feel like it would be a cool weather in this biome. It'd be really pleasant. Here I am mixing up the roof colors because I realized that I made a basic roof and I need to get better at making roofs, <laughs> like always. So here I am trying to make it look slightly, uh, like pizzazz it up so it doesn't look boring and as though I don't want to look at it. <laughs> uh, I eventually two-tone the roof, which is what I do. I get brown wood and mix it in with the red wood. Give it some dimension and some depth. That way it's just not a boring generic thing and it has some depth to it. And here we go. Gotta always put the under stairs. There's the brown spruce. Bleah. 
brown spruce wood. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I really like the chimney. I like anything in Minecraft that gives it life. So with the campfire just constantly puffing smoke, it looks like someone lives here. It looks like there's something going on and you want to find out what it is. That's why I always prefer that there's some form of animation going on in my builds and that it's not just as though it's been abandoned and you showed up and you're like, where is everyone? <laughs> was there anyone ever here? <laughs> there's a structure. I hope someone was here. So yeah, there it is. It looks pretty good with those two, uh, those two rows of the wood sticking up. I like how it turned out. Oh, look at the roof. It's coming together. <laughs> it's looking real good. Ah, it looks adorable. I love how this is turning out. I even have a little, uh, not an archway, but a, a, a porch, a front porch right there for the front door. So it's not just like two boxes with two roofs and like a chimney. There's even more character to it, which is the little barn roof, which is made with Redwood trap doors. Yeah, there I am building it. <laughs> I first did it with slabs, but it wasn't uh, decorative enough. But if you use the redwood trap doors, they have, it looks like what's barn doors, like two, I don't know, just has a nice design on it. Anything to give it something that's not just flat and bland. <laughs> also, having blocks that are thinner looks more appealing, I think, especially when you're on a small scale like this. So here's the front porch, or I guess patio? I don't know. I don't really know what the difference is. This is just really tiny. <laughs> Slapping down the greenery. Gotta have the plants. We live out in the wilderness. We gotta be one with nature. <laughs> so we got some bushes. We got the chair to sit outside and read. Uh, and then I think I put down, yeah, that's right, the watering can, the plants, like plants I'm growing, not just ones that happen to be there. And then here's, yeah, that atrocious floor. I love that block, but good lord, it looks bad with, like, everything I do. <laughs> uh, so I changed out the redwood to spruce planks because, like, I want to use the red uh, redwood, but it just didn't work everywhere like I would have preferred. For some reason, spruce wood is a good nat neutral block. I don't know. I was just, like, trying to get stuff to work out. I wanted it to be visually pleasing. <laughs> So here is the loft or the second floor of the bedroom. This one here has a just yeah, it's a double bed. We're gonna put a chest in here, put some activities in here. I also hung up some dried plants because we're a little witchy girl in the middle of the forest living our best life. <laughs> and I really like dried herbs. They're really nice to add to dishes when you're cooking. I don't know if you've tried that, but it, it, it needs to be done. <laughs> I found out there's a legit reason people do it and it needs to be continued. <laughs> uh, so I end up changing this around. The typewriter, yeah, I changed it to a sewing machine because I think it's a personal preference since I enjoy sewing my own dresses, so I tend to put that in the build quite a bit since there's a sewing machine now. I like it. I like sewing. I like making dresses. So here's the room. Ta-da! <laughs> so now what we're going to put down here in the bottom is the kitchen. And right now I'm... I don't know how to say it. It's not like a wood-burning stove. It's just like an old medieval... Mm, cauldron over a fireplace like what a legit witch would do so here I am you can see it now it's a cauldron and I'm gonna put it over flames you know to get that animation again to make it look more alive which is what I, I wanted to look like it's lived in I want it to look homey and comfortable because I, I think everyone wants their house to look that way so here's the uh, kitchen I got everything set up. We got the sand. We got food. We got drinks. We got the uh, pantry with the shelves. Yeah, more dried stuff. More dried herbs. So yeah, we got a kitchen sink and a carpet and slapping down some more greenery because it makes everything look better. But yeah, I like how this turned out.
All right, so here we are at the garden, which is what you saw in the beginning and throughout the video. Right now I'm trying to, I don't want to use fences. I have an obsession with using fences. So right now I'm using walls as the fence and I'm mixing them in. I got uh, cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, mossy stone, stone, whatever it is, I'm mixing it in. And I'm also making sure they're not attached to the blocks behind them. I hate it when they like attach to everything around them. And here is the trader. He showed up. That is always inconvenient because he tends to follow me around and it's, yeah. Anyways, we're not going to talk about the fact how much he gets in the way. <laughs> so I'm putting up a, not a, uh, yeah, I'm putting up a small vineyard right here. Just some wine grapes or grapes that I can turn into wine. That way I have something to drink while I'm living at this little cottage. And I'm tilling the land to put some of my garden down. That way I'll always have some food. I don't have to go hunt or anything. I can just live off the land and the plants and whatnot. And yeah, I, apparently we're having a party here. Everyone's just, yeah, okay, okay guys. <laughs> and I'm putting in uh, pumpkins and melons. So I got beets and carrots and wheat. The wheat always looks really pretty. I like it. And then walking all over everything. Here's a path. I decided to change the color from green to path and then I realized that the path path was too harsh so I opted for a pod soil that way it looked like mulch so now the pathway is brown and it looks really nice and a pumpkin grew. It looks so pretty. It looks cute. <laughs> I was really I really like it when the pumpkins grow. They look nice uh, although something happens to that in a moment that I wasn't too happy about. But here I am putting on some more mulch, trying to see how I want everything to look in the terraforming. Trying to get it to uh, all look very nice and blend in with the cottage. Putting out some lights so I can see what's going on. And putting bushes around it, that way it's not just boring, it has some something interesting going on. And then I think right here is when I, yeah. So the trader trampled all over my uh, seeds and everything, and there was, yeah, things went down. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying when you're trying to build and then someone's in there like destroying half the stuff you put down. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so everything went well, getting everything done, and I like how it turned out. It fits in very cozy with the overall build, blends in with the redwood trees in the background, the cabin, I put a bell in the garden but to add more uh, depth to it because that's really pretty and it's just nice well now it's time to go mushroom foraging come on grab your basket and let's go <laughs> Well, we made our meal. Thank you for sticking till the end. I appreciate y'all being here. If you're interested in knowing more of what's going on, I have Instagram, TikTok, social media is linked down below so we can all have fun and have a good cozy aesthetic time in the cottages. <laughs> Subscribe. Bye. <laughs>